I just say hello. I think it's just so awkward to just say hello to the camera. I had the biggest craving for sweets lately. Well, today. I don't know why. So, I am going to heat this up. Uh, complete cookie. It's a, kind of like a protein cookie. It has no eggs or anything in it. It has um, no dairy. Um, it is six fats, 24 carbs, eight protein. Um, and then I'm gonna put some of this on top of it. This has no sugar. It's made with something else like stevia or something else in it. It's three fats, 14 carbs, and three protein. Um, the only thing that sucks, this is only, one serving is half a cookie. Who in the world can eat only half a cookie? Like once I start this, I, it's not gonna stop. But. Isn't it beautiful? There you go. It's about a cup of ice cream and then that protein cookie. Um, I will put this in my macros and then eat on the day. I cut it in half and heat it up. I guess I'll just eat half a cookie this time. So I'm going to put this in my macros. I know it's a little bit higher in carbs, but it's okay because I need the carbs right now. So this will fit perfectly in it. Um, this is why I love flexible dieting. Um, no, I don't eat like this all the time, but I do eat like this every once in a while and I have the opportunity to eat like this every once in a while because of flexible dieting. I know it's not the healthiest, but every once in a while it is okay. I assure you, it is okay. But. My body reacts fine with all this kind of stuff. I could probably eat like this on a daily basis. I'm not gonna eat like that every day because I know it's not good to eat cake and ice cream and Whataburger and everything all the time. Even though this is sugar-free and this is a protein cookie and stuff, I'd much rather have an actual meal sometimes than you know waste all my carbs on a half a cookie. I can't even eat the whole thing. So let's have a talk about flexible dieting, if it fits your macros, and uh, versus cookie cutter basic meal plan. <laughs> Boy! <laughs> my kid. Sometimes my kids even walk in, they're like, who are you talking to? And I'm just like, <laughs> nobody. Dieting. And if it fits your macros, they're basically the same thing. Um, <laughs> flexible dieting gives you more of a variety to eat um, versus the you know cookie cutter meal plans of brown rice, chicken, tilapia, red potatoes. That you're not just stuck with that, you're able to have more options. Um, some people take flexible dieting or if it fits your macros to, I guess, eating whatever or going out to eat all the time in their macros. And I do that, but I don't do it every day, just as you saw my random craving, uh, cookies and ice cream and stuff, I'll have that and I'll put it in my macros but I won't do it every day. In my opinion, it's, my, it's great to have a, I guess, foundation or the knowledge of the basic foods that are healthy for you and you can take that and kind of run with it. Um, I do stick with the brown rice and chicken and then I'll add some teriyaki sauce and vegetables and I'll make it a stir fry. 
something simple like that. Uh, it's good to know what is in everything you're eating. When I'm on prep, you see me reading labels all the time. It's not that I'm like obsessing over what I'm eating, but I'm keeping track of what I'm eating. When I'm not on prep, I really don't care. So I don't look at labels every day. But <clears throat> it's good to know you have options. Um, just you gotta know what you're eating and kinda need to know what works for your body. Cake and ice cream doesn't do much to my body, but cake and ice cream might make you blow up. Uh, I get super lean off of tilapia and brown rice, so I stay away from tilapia and brown rice until I'm cutting for my show. Um, it's just knowing your body. Um, some people don't like flexible dieting, some people love it. Um, it just all depends on you. Um, but like I said previously, I love flexible dieting because it gives me that option, and so then I'm not craving everything in the world and not feeling like I'm cheating on my diet or whatever every single day. The thing is, you need to know how your body works. Uh, and the only way to know this is by experimenting. So you can start off with higher carbs, lower fats, high protein, and it doesn't do anything for you. So what you would do is lower your carbs, up your fats, and you know keep your proteins the same. Or you can lower your protein, lower your carbs, higher your fats. Um, but it's all just you know playing with it and take time. It takes time to learn what is works best for you. Um, I have a video explaining uh, how to use my fitness pal because that's what I use during my prep and to track all my food video up somewhere. I'm not sure how people do that where they're like, I'll put the video right here and it's like, pop, right there. But I'll put it somewhere. So, it'll pop up somewhere. But, uh, yep. That's pretty much it about flexible dining. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. Uh, like and subscribe for some more. Five weeks out for my show, um, so 